Well, during the holiday season, people all over lend a helping hand to those in need. And they're doing just that at Ashwaubenon High School this morning with a trade and craft show. Emily Dean joins us live with more. Hi there, Emily. Good morning, Angie and Doug. Good morning, everyone. I'm in the midst of the trading craft show. All of the vendors are piling in, trying to get all of their booths set up. This trading craft show starts at 10 this morning. More than 80 vendors are going to be out here, and that one is the same. We have postcards, ornaments, we have jewelry, scarves, blankets, you name it. There's so much out here. All of the proceeds, too, are going to families in need in Ashwaubenon. And I am going over here right now amongst the pillows and I am going to be speaking with the one and only pillow lady 91 year old Doris Reimer from Green Bay who's been sewing for years sewing is her life Doris good morning to you good morning oh so happy to meet you oh. <laughs> well we're happy that you're speaking with us these are your pillows you've been sewing your entire life sewing is your life um, why do you make pillows and sell them at craft shows I don't know how I got started. It, it was years ago. <laughs> years ago, and they used, to, they used to be more material in the stores with prints like this, but now you don't see them that often. So, but I have a a young store in my house, <laughs> and you have lots of pillows. About a hundred pillows, you think, out here? I've made at least a hundred or more, and I want to let give them away too. You're, you're such a wonderful lady, Doris, and this is the pill that I wanted to show. Kind of tell us, Doris, about this and what this is. That's trapunto, the process of making the pillow. And it goes like this. You have a piece of material, and then you, have a little, you make little tiny stitches, and you follow everything, and then you stuff it, make a little slit in the back. You see there's a piece of material in the back. You make a little slit, and then I stuff it with a toothpick. Doris, how long does it take you to make a pillow? The better, well, I can't sit all day for three days, but it takes the better part of three days sometimes, depending on what I do, which one I do. Now, like this one doesn't have trapunto on it, but I just liked it that way. Well, your pillows are beautiful. The pillow lady, we got it right here. It's on a license plate. It's official. <laughs> I got a second license plate but from the state because one was ruined. So they sent her another it. one, and she loves it, and she has it on her car for all to see. Well, she'll be out here selling her pillows along with other vendors, too. You can check out our website, fox11online.com, for more information. It starts at 10 a.m. We'll send it back to you.